Hello and welcome F3 community and family to the hollow hold series. Now, why do we want to do hollow holds? The reason why we focus on hollow holds right from the very beginning is because what we're teaching you to do here is actually brace your core. So all the crunches and planks and different movements that you might be doing in your workout routine, you're actually doing them effectively to contract your core muscles and not just hurt your lower back like a lot of us I know myself included have done so learning this will be a great great first step in you learning how to master any core exercise so we're gonna begin this with the tucked hollow hold as you see here what I'm doing is I'm bringing my knees and my hands up over my torso and as I do this I'm prioritizing one thing and that is driving my lower back into the floor to actually flatten out my spine. So as we move on into this next variation here with the overhead reach, which would be your second progression, once you get a good hang of that first one, you can move into this next one. I'm still prioritizing flattening my lower back on the floor. You can raise your head off the ground like you see me doing right here to allow you to drive your rib cage, which is a great cue, into your hips a little bit more to just really deepen and strengthen that core brace, but it's not always needed. You can do these movements with your head on the ground as well too if you really wanna focus on straight necked posture. Now, as we move on into another amazing progression here with the extended hollow hold, you'll see I'm still prioritizing my lower back being perfectly flat. That natural arch in my back is gone. And I'm also prioritizing as I do this, my stomach and rib cage staying perfectly flat the entire time. I'm making sure that my ribs are not flaring up to the sky, but instead they are driven down into my hips. If you can get to the extended hollow holds, my friends, you guys are already doing amazing and really um, you're good to go for almost every movement when it comes to core strength to at least begin and start learning it. But what you can do if you want to get a little bit more of a advanced variation is move on to the hollow rock right here where we are now focusing on rocking back and forth in that hollow hold position, specifically the extended hollow hold um, while maintaining that rounded spine there and keeping it as seamless as possible. Enjoy y'all.